You're with Virginia on ABC Radio Melbourne. One of the great joys of my life was taking part in Coast Trek and walking one of the most spectacularly beautiful parts of Victoria. And if you've never just done that walk yourself, you easily can, which is right down the tip of Point Nepean, around and back again, and it is absolutely beautiful. It's one of the great walking uh, treks, and it has become over the years one of the great fundraisers. It's called Coast Trek, and Coast Trek is an organisation usually partners with a charity of one kind or another. Uh, back when I was doing it, it was Beyond Blue, and this time it's, uh, it's with the Heart Mob, which will be really great. Di Westaway OAM is founder of Coast Trek, and she's talking about the partnership this year. Uh, with the Heart Foundation. Di Westaway, good to see you again. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here and I'm still so happy that you had such a great time I on your a, coast. Well, look, I, I, look, it was just luck. I think we got the most glorious day of the year. The weather was spectacular. It was a high blue sky. There wasn't a breath of wind. It was absolutely beautiful. And I remember just walking along thinking, this is a gift, this is a gift, this is a gift. As I trudged through 30 k's, <laughs> I don't think your weather's going to be quite so good it's tomorrow. It's not looking good. <laughs> a bit worried. Yeah, no, look, <laughs> plunge on, plough on, you'll feel great at the end of it. Um, what's the point of Coast Trek? Well, you know, interestingly, I've learned since we've been partnered with the Heart Foundation that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death of Australian women. Say, now, say that again. I don't think women know this. Women don't know this, that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death for Australian women. Now, that's gobsmacking because most of us think it's senior age, senior men like yep. that, that, that dive, um, and, and they do as well. Um, but what we don't know is how high the rates are for women. Um, and not only that, is that the research over the years into heart disease has been done on male bodies by male researchers and using male mice. So the whole physiology around it is often um, poorly communicated and then doctors are under-diagnosing or misdiagnosing. And so you, we're hearing this so many stories of women, young women, um, that suddenly, it just suddenly whisked into hospital for, for heart surgery. Um, and one of our ambassadors, Jen Tucker, is one of those. So um, we've learned a lot about it. And the great thing about Coast Trek is not only is hiking one of the best and funnest ways that you can improve your heart health, but it's also a great way to raise money for the Heart Foundation through Coast Trek. And uh, the money that's raised for the Heart Foundation, do you know where that will go, what the, the focus of that will be? Absolutely, yes. The focus is on women and heart disease because that's where the funding is most needed right now. We need to learn about those female bodies and find out why they've got different symptoms to male bodies. It'll also be supporting women in science because, again, women are a very small percentage of researchers and, and in clinical practice in cardiology. Um, it's also going to go towards the Jump Rope for Heart program, which we're really excited about getting all those kids skipping. That's a school. Ooh, that's right, yeah. yes. Because skipping is so good for your heart. And skipping is hard. It's skipping is hard, but it's great for your cardio fitness. And the final thing is it's going towards helping with rheumatic helping fight rheumatic heart disease in right. indigenous communities. Oh yeah, that's a really important one. Mm. With it being the leading cause of death for women, and I, I just feel like I need to keep saying that because oh, no. I reckon we assume it's going to be something like, you know, breast cancer yes. or, or cervical cancer, and it's yeah. not serious though they are. Yeah. Do we ignore the symptoms? Is that the issue? That's exactly what happens. Women tend to just go, oh, I'm feeling a bit tired, so, you know, I'll have a bit of a lie down. Even there's so many stories of women going to their GP and saying, look, I'm feeling a bit, you know, a bit breathless, a bit tired, and the GP goes, yeah, you, you know, you're stressed, just take a break, you know, whatever's stressing you, manage your stress better. Um, and that's the critical problem is that for women, the first symptoms are often just tiredness and, and you know, a, a puffing heart. Uh, so, yes, it is a difficult one. Well, we're lucky enough to have Associate Professor Nikki Bart, Staff Specialist Cardiologist in Heart Transplant and Heart Failure at St Vincent's Hospital on the line. Um, Professor Bart, really good to talk to you. Good morning. Can you talk to us a little bit more about those symptoms, particularly in women, that we might ignore? Thank you so much for having me on, Virginia, and very excited to be on with Di. Um, so, so, look, men present with what we call, in inverted commas, typical symptoms, which is what you may associate with a heart attack, which is that really, you know, elephant on your chest, crushing chest pain, right. um, and maybe pain down your left arm. And women present with, in inverted commas, atypical symptoms, but they're probably typical for women um, as we start to understand this better. And that's usually um, much more subtle. So they present with shortness of breath. Uh, it can be fatigue. Um, it can be um, just kind of more extreme fatigue. Um, 
And because they're more subtle, women are mes- much less likely to actually present and say that it could be a heart-related symptom. And then once they see the doctor, the, typically what we know from the research is that doctors are less likely to then refer them to cardiologists and for the appropriate cardiac test. Do you think you need to be having uh, professionals like you, Nikki Bart, that there needs to be more conversation with GPs so that GPs are alive to the symptoms? Yeah, look, I think um, prevention is so much better than cure. And so, um, you know, this this uh, program with Coast Trek, getting people out there and, you know, getting the message out, like being on this program, um, meaning that women's symptoms, that we understand that they're much subtler than men and also that women... Um, It is a major cause of um, illness and death, uh, cardiovascular disease in women. So I think getting the message out there to the general population is really important and and to GPs. Um, Have a listen to this and this is a text coming in, Professor, saying symptoms are so different. I had severe nausea, no pain, and I'm so thankful to the Epworth Hospital for what they did. So how about that? So one woman saying it was just nausea for her. Yeah, and, you know, it's often misdiagnosed as reflux. Um, and right. so it, the, the time to diagnosis for, for a woman is much longer than the time to diagnosis for a man. And what we know is that, you know, particularly with your classic heart attack, um, time is heart muscle. So the faster you present, the faster we unblock a mm. blocked artery, the better your outcomes are going to be. That's right, because you, that, that some of that heart muscle can die and you just don't want to lose that heart muscle. Absolutely. Yeah. Wendy from Eltham has called in. Wendy, hi, what would you like to say? Well, this time last week, I was, so today's Thursday, okay. So last Tuesday, I had a um, stress test on a treadmill yep. to be scheduled Thursday for a, um, for a, sorry, my brain's a bit foggy, angiogram at a hospital that was more than 25 k's away that I'd normally go. Yep. But they scheduled me in to get it done quickly. It was late in the afternoon on Thursday and they discovered I had two blockages, one 70%, one 40%. Scheduling and staff fatigue, they weren't prepared to do it, uh, what they thought might be a long procedure on Thursday, so they did it Monday morning. And I spent the weekend being very blasé, thinking it's just a minor thing. By the time I got on the table on Monday morning, I had my 40% block had gone to 70. Oh, wow. And my 70 had gone to 99. Oh, my God. They called me the walking dead. <sighs> I have a family history. My father died of a massive heart attack and a stroke at 46 many years ago. Wow. My mum only passed away before Christmas at 84. And the combination of his poor heart and her low blood pressure has kept me alive. Now, I can tell you Wendy, that I'm I'll, an asthmatic. I'll, I'll, I'll have to just wrap you up in it, but Wendy, how are you feeling now? Um, I feel like I've been hit by a truck, but I, I know there's a tomorrow at this point, more than just as anyone else. Well, but, exactly, and it also means that you're no longer the walking dead. This must be a common story, Nikki Bart. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, I think one thing that Wendy highlights is that there is risk factors for heart disease, mm. and some of them are modifiable and some of them are not. So genes play a very important role in heart disease. So if you have a first degree relative, like a parent or a sibling that has early or premature heart disease, you are at much higher risk of heart disease and need to be screened earlier. But then there's also a number of modifiable risk factors. So they're things that we can do um, to improve our heart health. So those risk factors include um, blood pressure, um, which, you know, if you get your blood pressure checked and then addressed, um, you can improve your heart health, cholesterol, obesity, mm. smoking and physical inactivity. Oh, look, I'm so glad we kicked off this conversation that the calls are coming in thick and fast and I'm happy to, happy to keep taking those. Um, Di, Westerway, you're full? You're taking any more oh, registrations? We're, no, we're 100% full. We've got a big war. We've got nearly 3,000 brave coast trekkers <laughs> pitching themselves against the weather tomorrow <laughs> down on the morning to Peninsula, walking 20 to 60 kilometres. Um, they've raised already over a million dollars for the Heart Foundation. Sensational. So we couldn't be more excited. We're hoping to get to 1.5. We've got our ambassador, Shelley Ware, down there there walking particularly focused on indigenous heart health um and yeah we're very excited for them we wish you all the very best (laughs) it's a really wonderful event uh professor bart thank you for your time thank you so much for having me on virginia die west away walk well thank you thank you and i hope to be doing coast trek sometime soon die west away the founder of coast trek (laughs) 